Hey everybody, I'm Steve with Marine Depot Direct. Actually, my bosses want me to uh, let you know that I'm stainless, Steve, because uh, they think that's funny, uh, and it is. So, today I wanted to talk to you about the different types of ladders we've got. Um, you can see that I have two here, and I can assure you that there are a lot more around me. Uh, I'm just not showing them yet because uh, that would look really messy. So, I've got a uh, bunch of different ladders here, and I just wanted to go over the advantages, the disadvantages, and uh, this can probably help you decide what kind of ladders you need or want, uh, especially if you're uh, a new boat owner or you're thinking about switching it up. So, uh, let's start it off. Uh, I've got two of the um, pretty basic ones here, the under platform and the over platform ladders. Uh, as you can guess, they are mounted under the swim platform and over the swim platform. They pretty much have opposite advantages and disadvantages. So uh, let's start with the under platform. So this one's secured with a little rubber strap. Like I said, it's mounted under the swim platform. So the big advantage here is that it takes up no room on the actual swim platform. Uh, and it's nice and tucked away. When you're ready to use it, you just unsnap that and go ahead and slide it out. I'm just going to get my fingers out of the way. There we go. And it telescopes down so you can get up and down uh, easily. And then when you're done, it just telescopes right back in. It's a little bit easier when you're actually on a boat because then uh, it's not just free floating in your hands and it's going to be uh, bolted in. Okay. So next I've got the uh, over platform ladder here. And like I said, that goes on top of the swim platform. And from there, these two bits are going to be bolted down right on the edge. I'm just not uh, unwrapping uh, those just because uh, I'm not the one that has to put them away and I don't want to be rude. So that will go ahead and flip out. This one's held in with a little strap and again telescopes right down for uh, easy boarding and unboarding. Well, mostly boarding. You'll probably jump off the boat. So, and when you're done, just flip it back up. And of course, you can secure it with the strap so it doesn't go flopping back in uh, once you start driving off. So, like I said, advantages and disadvantages for the under platform ladder. The advantages are obviously that it takes up no space on your swim platform. Uh, and that's nice because uh, you don't have a tripping hazard. You can just kind of have all that space. However, it is more susceptible to damage because it is, uh, well, it's right in it. It's uh, going to be like right near the wake. It's going to get hit. And especially if you're in a saltwater environment, that's going to start to tarnish uh, anything, whether it's 304 or 316 stainless, it's still going to tarnish eventually. And it's probably going to be a little bit more difficult to kind of wash off afterwards. So, the opposite is true for the over platform, where it's on top, it does provide a little bit of a tripping hazard, but uh, it's not susceptible to as much damage because it's sitting on top and it's not constantly getting hit by that wake water. So, both good options, uh, and it kind of depends on your, on your boat. And some boats have uh, a little groove already cut in for an over-platform ladder to kind of sit in to kind of eliminate that tripping hazard. Uh, and th if that's the case for you, you just have to make sure that you get a ladder that fits right in those grooves. Because they do come in a, a variety of different widths and everything. You've got the narrow step, the wide step, uh, the regular, and then sometimes, you know, there's just some odd grooves cut in between. Alright, on to the next ladder. Here we've got a gunnel ladder, which is nice. Uh, I like this kind. It's, um, it's good, it's sturdy, 
The um, let me get right into the advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the advantage is that uh, it comes with little brackets, so you can mount it pretty much anywhere because it goes right off the gunnel of your boat. However, that also means that you have to remember to put it out and to take it back in, and you also have to have a place to store it because uh, usually you wouldn't go and just leave this on there. Uh, one of the nice things is that with the brackets, you can buy multiple brackets to kind of put it either side of your boat, basically wherever is going to be convenient at your present moment. So, like I said, this kind of just hangs off the gunnel. It's got two standoffs, so they kind of press down in there. And uh, clips are pretty secure. So it just flips right down, if it doesn't want to clip my hoodie, to give you a nice easy boarding. And then when you're done with it, just fold it back up and it clips into itself. And then you can always just slide it back out and stow it wherever is most convenient for you. All right, what's the next ladder? Transom ladders. So technically a transom ladder can be any ladder off the transom of your boat. Uh, this is what uh, we have kind of classified as a transom ladder. So it mounts permanently onto the side of your boat with the two little brackets and then the uh, standoffs just built right in there. These do not telescope. And again, it clips right into itself. So I'm just trying to not hit myself in the face. Sorry if that's going off the screen for you. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so that'll just sit right off there and again give you a nice boarding experience uh, and it's nice and sturdy especially ours with the nice tough stainless steel all right so they are a permanent fixture and that's really the only disadvantage you can't move it so basically you have to have that ladder in that spot uh, and that's not really so much of a disadvantage, it's just, you know, a fact of life. So this is one of our dive ladders. We have these in uh, telescoping as, oops, sorry, that was probably pretty loud. We have these in telescoping as well as fixed. Um, these can also be transom ladders, basically anything could be a transom ladder if it's on the transom of your boat. Um, but for uh, all intents and purposes, this is going to be, a, this is a dive ladder. So, um, <clears throat> these are pretty perfect for uh, divers and snorkelers. They're meant to kind of dip right into the water, uh, not really hang off your boat and be like a foot or so above. These are pretty much uh, quick entry, exit kind of ladders. Um, they do come with brackets where you can slide that into. So again, this is one of the ladders that you're going to have to have a place to store because uh, they're really not meant to be a permanent fixture of the boat. Um, but, uh, you know, however you want to care for it is up to you. So yeah, um, but they are uh, good. They're tough. Um, pretty much everything that we have here is uh, tough and is going to last you a good long time. Uh, these have nice grips. It's definitely one of our wider ladders uh, without edges, uh, and that helps when you're snorkeling or you have fins and uh, stuff like that on to help um, get off and on the boat. So now we have probably one of the largest ones, our pontoon ladders. All right, this big thing is our pontoon ladder. So, uh, one of the big things that you'll notice right off, it is a permanent fixture, uh, and it is a sturdy one. Um, it has five holes to bolt through. You've got to bolt these down, and then you've got to bolt this bar down right at the edge. This is definitely one of the biggest and heaviest ladders we've got here, and uh, there's a reason for that. It is sturdy, and it is meant for very easy boarding uh, for adults and children. That's one of the biggest uh, 
features of this is the nice and here there we go the nice handles um, that are just uh, that make boarding easy uh, quick and not stressful this is our four-step version sorry about the noise I'll see if I can cancel that out I'm scraping up my desk <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it just folds right down there, goes right into the water. Uh, the handles and handrails make it real easy to get up and on and off the boat. Uh, the biggest downside is that it is so big. It takes up a lot of space, and that's not necessarily desirable to everybody. So, <laughs> that is a big ladder. So, uh, we also have, well, we don't have it currently. Um, there are also outboard swim platform ladders. And I'll throw an image of what those look like up on the screen right now. And we are looking at getting a couple of these in, um, but they're not currently something that we have uh, in, our, uh, in our inventory here. However, they are, um, they're perfect for smaller boats that don't really have uh, the, uh, the room for a ladder with more than like a step or two, uh, maybe three. Uh, that's one thing that we're looking into right now is getting like maybe a three-step one. Um, it's definitely a ladder for a specific type of boat. So if you have kind of a larger boat um, that might not be as close to the water, all boats are in the water, but you know, the uh, actual swim platform not too close to the water, then it might not be the right ladder for you. However, uh, if you do, you got a smaller boat, you got one that fits with, uh, with that kind of aesthetic, then absolutely go for it. But that's all the ladders I have for today, so I hope that that kind of helps point you in the right direction. Uh, we also have a blog up on this exact topic uh, at marinedepotdirect.com. I'll have a link to that in the description. I'm also going to put a link to our ladders section in the description because uh, I've talked about all of our ladders and it's just uh, probably better if I show you exactly where all those are. So look for those links and uh, if you like this video leave it a like, subscribe, and if you turn on the notifications you can be notified every time we put out a new video and not just when YouTube feels like uh, letting you know. So, with that being said, have a good uh, rest of your day, and good luck picking out a ladder for your boat.